As a reminder, any edits made in Blind are stored immediately. There's no need to use our record or update tools. This allows for very quick editing in Blind, but be sure to use caution. Don't forget, you can always undo if necessary. Let's go ahead and format back to table view. And I wanna make sure we're in Flexi Active, which we still are here. Let's look at color palette one, enter. If we look at 101 through 128, you'll see that all of the color parameters are stored in this palette. That's because we used the record command when we initially recorded it. If we want to remove information in blind, we can use the at enter command. So on this palette, for example, I actually only want my cyan, magenta, and yellow values. I don't want any of that other information stored here. So to remove that additional information, I can hit select last minus cyan, magenta, yellow, at enter, and it's going to remove that information from the palette. Keep in mind the difference between no data in a palette and a zero. So for example, in this palette, our cyan is at zero. So when this palette is recalled, cyan will be driven to zero. The parameters with no data in it, such as color select, won't be affected by this palette. Let's format back to spreadsheet view, and we're going to look at Q12. Using the at enter command on queues has a slightly different result. Let's take a look at that. We're going to say 31 through 33 at. You'll see in this queue they have a move instruction to go to full, and that is tracked forward until they go to zero in our blackout. From here, if I press enter, you'll see that that move instruction is removed, and we now track through the values from the previous queue. We're going to undo that. We can also use our queue only syntax in blind here. So for example, I could say channel six, and instead of saying at enter, I can say at queue only enter. That's going to remove the move instruction on queue 12 and add a move instruction restoring its state in queue 13.